Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to customize Shopify Spotlight theme. So first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser. And then of course, we have to visit the Shopify website. And of course, we have to log into your account. And once we're here, we just have to click on the online store option at the left side of our screen. So this one right here. So just click on the online store and then select themes. Okay, so just click on themes and you'll be able to see here our current theme, which is the Dawn theme. Now I just have to scroll down and you'll be able to see this add theme option. Okay, so you can click on this one or simply scroll down and be able to see here the different templates or themes. So what we're going to do is to simply click on the visit theme store to so browse over 80 free and paid professionally designed theme. So once you're here, you'd be able to see different themes. So you just have to look for the spotlight theme. Or you can also use the search bar or the search icon at the top right to easily find the spotlight theme. Okay, so just click on this one and then type out spotlight. Now that you see this search results, so you just click on this one. And as you can see, the spotlight theme is free. So just simply click on try theme. So we can easily publish this one since this theme is free. So just click on try theme. Okay, so let me just click on the try theme option. Okay, just click on this one. And then I just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And then once the theme is added to your store, you can now start customizing this one. Okay, so just click on customize. So before customizing this one, I'm going to publish this first. Okay, so let me just click on publish. Okay, and then click on publish to confirm. And as you can see, my current theme is the spotlight. Okay, so we can now start customizing this one. So I just simply clicked on the customize option. Okay, so I just simply clicked on it. So of course, if you know the basics about customizing a template, so by the way, the spotlight theme focuses on your products. So this theme is very good if you really wanted to sell your products because that is a purpose of our Shopify store, right? So let us now start customizing this theme. So as you can see, these are all my products on my Shopify store. Okay, so what we can do here is we just have to simply click on the gear icon at the right side of our screen. So this gear icon right here, so just click on it. And we'd be able to see here the theme settings. So let us start to add our logo. So click on this one. And then so you can select your image or explore free images. So for the logo, I think I'll be using this one right here. So you just have to click on it. And of course, if you have your own store, you just have to click on add image and upload your own image. Next is click on done. And as you can see right here at the top left, we have here our logo. Okay. So next thing that we can do is to adjust the desktop logo width. So let me just adjust the desktop logo width right here from 100 pixels to 140 pixels. So I think this is a little too big, so I'm going to change this to 100 pixels. Now that we're done here, let's proceed to the colors. Okay, so let me just close this one and click on colors. Okay, so let me just scroll up. So as you can see right here for our scheme one, we have this colors. So if you want to customize this one, just simply click on it and then we can change the colors. Okay, we also have scheme two or scheme three. So let us proceed to the scheme one first. So just click on it. And then right here we have the background, the background gradient and the text. So let us start with the background. So I think I'll be using this background. Okay, so you just have to choose the correct background or the right background for your store. Next is for the text color. So I think block is good. So I'm going to use block for this one. 
Next is for the solid button background. You also have here the color of the solid button label. So I'll be using this color as well. Okay. Next is for the outline button and we also have the shadow. So I'm just going to use black for this too. Next is now that we're done with the color, let's go with the typography. So when you click on the typography, we have here the font style and of course for the heading so if you would like to change this one just simply click on change and then you can also use the search bar at the top to search for a specific font and you see for example this one so as you can see right here at the right side we can see the font style okay so let me try this one and if we found the perfect font for your store so you just have to simply click on save after that okay so i think i'm going to use the mono okay so after that just simply click on select this one at the bottom right okay good next is the font size scale so we can adjust this so the current font size scale is 100 percent so if you're going to adjust this one, you'll be able to see the changes at your right side. So I'm going to change this to 100% again. And then for the body, so we have here the font style again, then the font size scale. So after customizing the typography settings, let us now proceed to our layout. Okay, so you just have to click on the layout button right here. And then for the page width, so we can adjust this one. So you just simply drag this option to your right or to your left. Okay, so now that you're done with the page width, let us proceed to the space between template sections. So as of the moment, we have zero pixels for this one. So if you would like to change it, you just have to drag this setting. So, okay. Now for the grid, it affects the areas with multiple columns or rows. So right here we have the horizontal space, the vertical space as well. So after customizing the layout section, let us now proceed to the animations. So right here for the hover effect, our first option is none. Next is the vertical lift. And the last one is 3D lift. So I think I'm going to use a vertical lift for this one. So it affects the cards and buttons. So once you're done, let us now proceed to your buttons. Okay, so we can adjust the thickness, the opacity, the corner radius, the shadow, the horizontal offset, the vertical offset, and the blur. So after customizing everything that you need, we can now proceed to the sections. Okay, so assuming that we are done customizing these settings, just click on the section icon at the top left of your screen. Okay, so right here, we're currently on our homepage, so we can add here new sections. Okay, so for example, right here at the header, when you click on the header, we will be able to see here the settings of the header. So right here for the desktop logo position, we can change this to middle left, top left or middle center so i'm going to use top center for this one so as you can see our logo change position and then for the menu you just have to simply click on select menu and then select the menu that you want to add in your header okay so i'm going to select main menu and as you can see right here we're able to add our main menu options so after that you just have to simply save it Okay, so let me just go back to my header. Okay, so just click on the header section again. And let us continue customizing this one. Okay, so let me just click on main menu. And then just click on select after that. This one at the bottom right of the page. Next for the desktop menu type. So if you would like to use a drop down mega menu or drawer so you just have to simply select one of this option so i think i'm going to use a drawer for this one so the drawer looks like this so this three horizontal lines at the top left okay so when someone clicked on this one be able to see here our main menus next is for the sticky header 
you can um, change the sticky header so I'm going to use none for this one or on scroll app and then if you would like to show separate line so just simply click on this box right here and then again we are on the color scheme one so if you want to change the scheme one for your header so you just have to simply click on edit or change okay next is for the mini color scheme so we are using the scheme one again so if you want to change this just click on edit or change okay so just select your scheme color after that okay so after customizing this one so in a scroll down we have here the mobile layout we have the spacing and more so let us close this header settings so what we can do next is try to customize the rest of the pages so let's go here the pages at the top center and then select the pages that you want to customize so for example products so let me just click on default products right here so we can see some of our products so I'm going to scroll down so this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so when someone clicked on a specific product from our store, so this is how it's going to look like. So they'd be able to see these buttons where they can purchase this product and of course the details of our product. So let us try to preview this in a mobile view before we save this theme. Okay, so just click on the mobile view and take note that it can customize this theme using the mobile view as well. Okay, so to make this a functional theme, both on the mobile view and desktop view. We also have here the full screen, so you can also customize this using the full screen. Okay, so before we save it, let's go back to the desktop view and right here. You can also customize your product section. But of course, we're going to leave that one as it is and go back right here at the pages at the top center. And then go back to your home page. So if you would like to go back here on your theme settings. And then let us try to customize more. Okay, So I can show you more. So right here in the social media section. So when you have social media, of course, it is very important if you're a store owner on online. So you should have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, so you can advertise your store, okay, on different social media platforms. Because that would be very helpful so that people would find your store. So all you have to do here is to simply paste here the link of your Facebook account, Instagram account, YouTube, TikTok, X, or Twitter. We also have a snapchat so you just have to paste it right here and then once you do that you just have to save it and then when people um click on that specific icon or the facebook icon then they'd be directed to your facebook account so after that we're just going to save it so just click on the save option at the top right and now that we are done customizing our theme so you just have to simply click on the street that's right here and click on view okay so just wait for a couple of seconds so right here we would be able to see our product so when someone visit our store you'd be able to see here our logo and of course our products and the details of our products so when they clicked on this drawer right here or the three horizontal lines at the top left and they clicked on a specific page so they'd be directed to the page so we have here the catalog so let's click on the three horizontal lines again and click on contact and as you can see, you already have a contact form right here. So if you would like to customize this one, you just have to go to the contact page and customize the form. Okay, so now let us try to go back to our home page and click on one of our products. Okay, so for example, this one right here. So as you can see, we have the product pictures, the product name, the product title, and then of course, the payment option so we can add more payment option right here if we want to but as of the moment i have paypal only okay so when someone clicked on the payment option you'd be able to see this form right here okay so let me just go back to our product and then right here they can also add their quantity and then if our product comes to different colors so we have that option as well since we use AutoDS 
to import the products that we need to our Shopify store. Okay, so for example, this product right here. So we also have the features of the products. So it is very, um, it is an advantage if you are using AutoDS or any dropshipping tool to dropship products because you don't need to manually upload their details. Now, if you want to make more changes to your store, so you just have to go back right here and then start customizing your store again. So you just have to save it again and then publish it after that. Okay, so now that we have published this theme, so as you can see, our theme has changed. So basically using the spotlight theme is not very complicated because you just have to simply click on a specific element and from there you can start customizing it. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye.